Returning with the matter driving the economy of the entire world, the AI boom. Now, the race towards AI development has driven innovation across the world, but at the same time, putting pressure on tech giants to scour for high-performance memory chip for their AI centers, leaving little supply for other smart devices. Yes, Dylan, this global shortage spells hyper prices for everyday devices, and at as they're facing a limited availability and a rising cost. Now, we're going to see the small screen right here. Now, we have some data that will help put everything into perspective. Now, smartphone mark makers warn of 20 to 30 percent price hikes due to memory cost spikes. And uh, memory prices have more than doubled in several categories in February. Companies like Microsoft, Google, OpenAI, Xiaomi, and Realme are warning of price increases or delays, while some stores have begun rationing products. Now, the squeeze is expected to last for years, as the new chip factories won't be ready until 2027 or later. Now, this bottleneck could potentially slow AI progress, impact consumer electronics, and create some economic challenges, highlighting for the need for solutions to ease the memory crunch. Now, that global picture may seem distant, but its effects are now reaching everyday shoppers. On the shop floor, prices are changing, and customers are taking notice. Now, let's find out in our next story. At this computer store, new devices like laptops and memory cards are still on display, but shoppers are taking a little more time before deciding, as prices have edged higher. For many, the question is no longer what to buy, but when, as rising component costs start to filter through to the retail shelf. Prices are quite high right now, but if you need to use or upgrade your device, you just have to accept it. I'm really hesitant to spend right now because current prices are beyond what I can afford. While the shelves remain full, pressure is building behind the scenes. Growing demand for AI technology is pushing up components' cost, changes that stores like this are now starting to feel. Pricing has become much more challenging. The shoppers' increases are in RAM and SSDs. Some models have risen by as much as 50 to 60 percent over the past month. With production capacity limited, AI-grade memory delivers far higher profit margins than chips used in consumer devices. As a result, manufacturers are prioritizing supply for data centers and AI systems leaving less memory available for everyday electronics. Major tech firms have announced new production plans, but most are not expected to come online until around 2027. Thinking about buying a new PC or buying a new smartphone, I would try to wait as long as I could, maybe till the second half of next year or even later, because some new production lines will come online in the first half or, the, or in the second half of the year. I guess we all hope that the AI trend continues and it's very interesting and it's very exciting, but it would be nice if it slowed down a little bit so that we can, so that the production could catch up and then consumers won't have to pay more for laptops and, and smartphones and, and other devices. With additional production still a few years away, supply constraints are unlikely to ease soon, but the industry is already looking ahead, exploring ways to stabilize prices and protect consumers. Now, memory chip manufacturers have shifted from supplying consumer electronics to serving AI data centers, disrupting the global technology market. Now, to better understand this issue, we spoke with Mr. Marcus Chen, Executive Vice President at Fusion Worldwide, a global distributor of electronic components. Um, hello, Mrs. Chen. Thank you for joining us today. So the first question we would like to ask you is that why are memory chip manufacturers prioritizing AI-related products instead of uh, continuing to focus on consumer electronics, so which have traditionally been their core strength? Yeah, I mean, definitely. Um, at the end of the day, you know, there's only so much production capacity that a man memory manufacturer would have. And the fact that the profit margins on AI memory is simply a lot higher than other types of memory used in consumer products such as PC or consumer devices, right? I mean, the, 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 this on, will only mean one thing, that the manuf manufacturers would prioritize memory use in AI uh, in a chase for larger profit margins.
this trend will just continue. You know, this basically means that any products using memory will continue to face shortages in the short to mid term. Basically, the demand for memory now is at a lot more than what the memory manufacturers can produce. And um, to put it simply, the demand for memory right now is simply unprecedented. And uh, during this period of disruption, what can businesses to do to uh, minimize the impact on their operations? Uh, that's a great question. Right? I think the first most important thing is to have diversified sourcing. Right? The diversification, not just over memory brands but also diversification with suppliers and distributors, right? Uh, as an independent distributor, we play a key role over here, right? Our customers can leverage our global network and strong supply relationships to navigate allocation challenges and secure essential memory components, even in constrained markets, such as the one that we are seeing right now. The next thing is also about, we talk about technology optimization. Um, that's very important. Um, optimizing your memory density and efficiency in your products. And finally, improved forecasting, uh, being able to forecast demand further out than what you typically would do and taking on inventory positions in anticipation of your forecast. Thank you, Mr. Shen, for your sharing.